Welcome. All right, so in this case, what I want to do is show you how to evaluate for the angle 8 pi over 3. And what we can determine if with 8 pi over 3, if we're going to look on the unit circle and try to draw that, draw that, we realize that is greater than um, that is greater than one revolution of a circle. So whenever I have an angle that's greater than one revolution of a circle, I'm going to use coterminal angles, or sometimes we call it period as an aid, to find the smallest coterminal angle that is, has the exact same initial and terminal sides of that. So to do that, I can just subtract my revolution. So we know that a whole revolution around a circle in terms of thirds would be 6 pi over 3, right? Because 2 pi is the same thing as 6 pi over 3. So I'm going to subtract a revolution. So I'm going to subtract 6 pi over 3. Therefore, by subtracting that, I have t equals 2 pi over 3. These two angles have the exact same initial and terminal side, but it's much easier for me to kind of visualize where 8 pi over 3 is, or I'm sorry, 2 pi over 3 is, compared to 8 pi over 3. So let's go and do a quick little sketch of where 8 pi over 3 is, or sorry, 2 pi over 3. So let's say I have the unit circle here. Well, if I have this in thirds, this would be 1 third. That would be 2 thirds, as this is pi over, that's 3 pi over 3. So this angle is now going to be 2 pi. So from here to here would be angle 2 pi over 3. And what you notice is this point is a direct reflection of this point, which is pi over 3. So now I go over to my unit circle and I say, all right, the point at pi over 3. Um, so now I found the angle. The next thing I need to do is write in the point. So the point at um, 2 pi over 3, well, it's the same point as pi over 3, which Mr. is. Mr. McLogan, sorry. You're needing guidance for a parent teacher conference. Mr. Oh, that's McLogan, me. you're needing okay. guidance for a parent teacher conference. That's going to be, that's kind of weird. Uh, so that's 1 half, comma, square root of 3 over 2. And then what I have is now I can reflect this over into the y axis. So now my point is going to be negative 1 half, comma, square root of 3 over 2. All right, because now it's in the second quadrant, so therefore it's going to be negative. So to determine the sine, cosine, and tangent of these points, I now I have my point. And now I just need to determine what is the value of the sine, cosine, tangent. So we know this coordinate point is x and y. So let's do the sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine of t, cosine of t, and tangent of t. Now remember, when we're doing the sine of t, that just represents the y coordinate on the unit circle of your point. The cosine represents the x-coordinate of your point on the inner circle. And the tangent t represents the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate. So in this case, my sine, or my y-coordinate, is just square root of 3 over 2. x is my x-coordinate, which is just equal to a negative 1 half. And the tangent is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 divided by a negative 1 half. Now, I can multiply by the reciprocals. Or you could also see that these points, they're about those divide out, so I'm just left with square root of 3 over negative 1 just equals a negative square root of 3. Now, to go and evaluate my reciprocal functions, um, that's going to reciprocal of sine is cosecant of t, which is going to equal 1 over y. The reciprocal of cosine is secant of t, which equals 1 over x. And the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent of t, which equals x over y. So the cosecant of y is now going to be 1 over the square root of 3 over 2. The secant is going to be 1 over negative 1 half. And the cotangent, that's going to equal negative 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. All right, now this is going to get a little tricky. So for these, rather than just trying to simplify this out, I will break this down for you and show you kind of step by step. So for the cosecant of t, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal on top and on bottom to produce equivalent equations. Well, any number of times it's reciprocal is just going to divide, multiply to 1. So I'm left with 2 divided by the square root of 3. Now I need to rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3 on the top and bottom. Therefore, I'm left with 2 square root of 3 over 3. And that's going to be my final answer for the cosecant of t. For the secant, again, multiply by the reciprocal, negative 2 over 1 on the top and on the bottom. When doing that, that multiplies the 1. And 1 times negative 2 over 1 just equals a negative 2. And finally, last here, you can see, well, now my, I can say my 2's will divide out. So I'm left with a negative 1 over the square root of 3, where now all I have to do is rationalize the denominator one more time. And my final answer is the square root of 3 over 3. And in this case, it is going to be negative. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate the six trigonometric functions when given uh, an angle.
for a point on the unit circle. Thanks.